We are headed. Where are we headed, man? Get my phone fixed, hopefully. To get his phone fixed. It broke. Something. Yeah, something's wrong with it. Like, I forgot to plug it in, and it never worked here since. So, I don't know what's wrong with it. Yeah, when we plug it in to charge it, like, the, the white apple comes up. And then like a red screen and then the white apple nothing 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 the white apple a red screen and a white apple nothing nothing so it won't do that's all it'll do and uh we tried everything we know so we're gonna go we're gonna run to the uh apple store. yeah not the not the where they sell apple phones no, but we're gonna go to i think it's called the apple store and i'll have to look and see yeah, they'll, they've had to re, uh, like Clay's got hung in the middle of an upgrade, update, upgrade, up, sh up something. Upgrade. It got hung in the middle of that, so they got that fixed for us. And then Dan's just like completely shut down. They fixed his for us, and they did it for like, tw it's 20 or $25. This is great. And so we're going to run and see if there's something they can do. I gotta put some money in the bank first. And then uh, we're gonna run and see if they can help Clay get his phone working. And if not, then we'll go over to the AT&T store and get him a new phone. Um, I, y'all, I got sick. You know that a couple weeks ago when I did that monster throwing up, like that alien throwing up? <laughs> well, it hit again yesterday like the the like my stomach swelled up like I was about nine months pregnant I couldn't burp I couldn't poo I couldn't do nothing but I was like gagging trying not to throw up but I managed to I took I drank uh, some apple cider vinegar because that seems to help my stomach and I'm sure it's because my gallbladder is wonky but um, that still I was still feeling you know real gaggy so I took uh, a Zofran and that, that helped a little bit too, but nothing, nothing. I mean, it was like, I, I walked around like I was a woman uh, in labor. I was doing some heavy breathing. I was trying not, I was trying hard not to throw up because I did, the only thing I'd had to eat yesterday, well, that's still the only thing I've had to eat. I ate some cherries. In fact, I videoed, I was sitting there, I was doing a little bit of a vlog. I said, I'm just gonna eat some cherries and drink this orange juice because I'm going back on my diet. And that's all I'd had was some cherries and some orange juice and y'all got so sick. So I don't know. I thought it was like greasy stuff that was setting it off. But those cherries and that orange juice, I, I don't know what did it. Anyway, it hit again yesterday. I still haven't had anything to eat. I ate those cherries and drank a little bit of orange juice yesterday morning and I haven't had anything. It's uh, 11.18 now. 11.21. 11.21. Mine says 11.18. Clay keeping me in line, y'all. <laughs> um, so I still haven't had anything since then, and I'm not fixing to try it. I, I'm not. I'm, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with me. I'm sure it's my gallbladder, but um, y'all, I'm not. Ha I'm trying not to have no surgery. I, I know I might eventually have to have some, but I'm trying hard not to have none. So I may get skinny one way or the other, whether I want to or not. Guys, I was wrong. This is called Simply Mac, not the Apple Store. It's called the Simply Mac Store. And he's going to try to get a uh, fixed place by enforcement. We really hope he can. Hi, man. My well, fingers are crossing, but there's yeah. no guarantee. All right. This is the Mac, Simply Mac, not, I kept calling it the Apple Store, but it's called Simply Mac. And we love these guys. They've always, always, always fixed our problem. But today, they could not fix our problem. They said Clay's phone is junk. What? Clay wants a six. They didn't have any sixes here, so we're gonna run out to AT&T and, and see sense. if they have any sixes. Okay, guys. We just got finished at the AT&T store. Clay is the proud new owner of an iPhone 7. <laughs> he's up, he's more, he's a newer one than I do. Mine's a 6 and his is a 7. I'm not trying to buy no new phone because that stresses me out. But, <laughs> go ahead. I was going to say, I think my, my yours is like the same size. No, yours is better than mine. Really? Yeah, yours wow. is nicer than mine. It's See, fancy. now because you had such a good camera, yeah. you're going to have to help me film these videos, buddy. Oh, no. Okay. 
And maybe we can download the app for the drone and we get this. Learn how to use that drone. Yep. <laughs> yeah. So we got that done. It took us a hot minute because we couldn't figure out how to get back into Clay's Apple ID, but we got back and he got the guy, got us back in. He was fabulous. Yep. And I might have bought an iPad, y'all. I'm the new owner of a big gold iPad. So, anyway, got that done. We're gonna go, we're gonna stop back by Walmart. They asked us if we wanted to buy a uh, case. case in there, but I didn't because the AT&T stuff is always so expensive. Yeah. So I'm gonna drop, we're not drop clay, I'm gonna run back by Walmart and uh, pick up Clay a case because I do not want him dropping this phone and busting it. I would have to have a slight heart attack because <laughs> these phones are so expensive. They are. Clay is up to date, buddy. <laughs> you styling, huh? Yep. He can't quit smiling. He's so <laughs> are you happy, man? Yeah. Good, good. I'm glad you're happy. I didn't want the old dollar phone. I know. You had a, you were wanting a new, uh, an upgrade. Did you break that phone so you could get a new no. one? I'm playing. I'm playing. <laughs> I honestly don't know what happened to our phone. Y'all, we just got some Sonic. I saved half of mine. I didn't eat it all because I'm kind of scared to, uh, because my stomach, you know, is acting crazy again and I don't want to, I got to run, get some medicine filled and I don't want to be feeling pukey on my way over there. Mm. So I saved it. I want to eat a little bit so that I can kind of fill it out. Cause I, if I gotta puke this hamburger, I don't want to puke a whole hamburger. <laughs> Clay man, how is life with your new phone? Oh, I love it. You love it? Yeah. Tell us about it. What's so good about it? You want to show it to him again? Oh yeah. He got him a set, an iPhone seven, and he got him a uh, what's it called? An Otter box to that put box. it in, so he won't drop it and hurt it. <laughs> Or get anything on it and all that kind of scratch. stuff. Yeah, and scratch. So tell us about it. What do you like about it? Um. <laughs> well, I like it that it won't die on me. That's for sure. Um. That it's amazing. <laughs> Boom. And it won't like. Uh, it won't break on me. It won't do nothing. But you do anything on this phone. We finally figured out, y'all. We got his Facebook. We got his Netflix. We got his Instagram. We got we got all of his apps. I think we got them all. Didn't we get them yeah, all? Yeah, we got them all. Is there anything we're missing? Nope. Oh yes, my bank. The bank. We gotta get him signed back into his bank. I forgot about that until we went through the bank and dropped some money off. I was like, oh, that's one thing I forgot we didn't put on there. So, Clay's got a newer phone than anybody in our family. Cameron and Jeremy just got new phones, but they got, I believe they got a six, and that's what I have, a six. Clay man got a seven. Y'all, he is up to date. Yeah. I'm happy it, for you. Everything works faster and better. Faster and better, and now, on his other phone, his camera wasn't as good a quality as my, as the one that I have. So um, when he would try to film for me for a video, it was a lot less. Like you could tell the quality was a lot different. So now he's got a good phone, so he's gonna have to help me do some video. Come <laughs> oh, man. Yep, yeah, and I can watch anything on my phone I wanted to. The screen's a lot bigger. It's a lot better. It's different. There's nothing wrong with this one at all. Good. I'm glad you like it. And he has said thank you a thousand times for me getting him a new phone. Uh, but I told him, I didn't get, I mean, I took him to get him a new phone, but he bought his phone because, you know, he works with his daddy pretty much every day. So that's his, you know, he bought his own phone. That wasn't me buying it for him. He bought it for himself. <laughs> and then I picked up they have, I think I might have told y'all this yesterday. They're still running the deal, the special, whatever you call it. Uh, if you get 
a new phone, you can get an iPad for $99. So I picked up an iPad and I got me a pink case. Pink, of course. For it. So we're both in business, huh, man? Yeah. I just, I just call it my phone works. I'm so happy for you, man. Y'all, yeah. he's told me a thousand times, thank you for buying him a new phone. He's so sweet. Yeah. We're headed to pick up some medicine. I need, I need my, um, I take a statin, which I'm not even sure what that is. It lowers my cholesterol. I don't know what, it, I don't really, I really don't know what it does. I'm kind of ashamed. I don't know. Anyway, I'm out of my statin. I took my last one last night, and Dan is out of something of his. I don't know, so we're gonna go pick up some medicine. I baked cakes this morning. I got them cooling, and they're gonna go in the freezer. Um, when I get back, I'm gonna get some stuff made for the cake. And y'all, I've just been so busy, and I, I apologize, but you know, with us going on the trip, and then I had a cake to do before I left, and I had a cake to do as soon as I got home, I've got another one this week, so it's just been so busy. I haven't had a chance to get my videos edited and uploaded like I wanted. I'm, I'm working on it. But um, I apologize because I, I haven't been in the comments and I, I, I miss. I like this road because it's not loud. Watch, we're fixing to cross off this bridge onto this loud road again. Hear the difference? Anyway, I love talking to y'all. Uh, and I miss it, so I've got to, I want to get caught back up on all that kind of stuff, so, anyway, yeah, and it's been raining, it's only 77 degrees here today, so, we're thankful for the rain, aren't we? I know it's on the airplane, that'll help a lot, though. Yeah. Well, well, I mean, I think they don't want it to interfere with his controls oh, and stuff. Oh, maybe so. Yeah. They ask you to turn it to airplane yeah. mode. And girl, I did, because I ain't even just trying to make him have a wreck fall out of the sky. Uh-uh. Huh. And there, there's this man sitting near me. I don't think he ever turned his off. He was deadly all over the internet and stuff. And I was like, look, if you make us wreck fall out of the sky, I'm going to hunt you down and finish killing you if you ain't already dead. <laughs> you better get off that phone. Clay and I started talking about something I wanted to tell y'all about. While we were on vacation, y'all, and I wish, oh my God, I didn't even think about it. I'm going to have to try to start thinking about stuff like that. Um, oh, shit. Y'all, we're just going to get stopped by a train. Oh. Dookie. Anyway, we, uh, while we were on vacation, Clay has wanted to try a margarita. Uh, sorry, y'all. Train. We see you. Okay, Clay's wanted to try a margarita. I've never tried one, and he's never tried one. So uh, Dan said, "Well, y'all get one and try it. And if you don't like it, he said he would take. Excuse me. He said he would finish drinking it. So we did. And Clay, they brought it to the table, and uh, Clay took a drink of it, y'all. I wish I had had the camera going because I really thought, like me and Dan both were like. Oh my God, are you, like the look on his face was crazy. I didn't know if he was gonna throw up or pass out or I didn't know what that look was about. He said, oh, it's like he, he just held it for a while and just had this, like he wouldn't move. He was just sitting there with that look on his face and his eyes closed and I was like, oh my God. Dan and I had already, we'd both scooted our chairs back. Cause you know, like when you've got kids, you know, like this, when you're gonna have to catch puke with your hands, you know. So we were like, we done both scooted our chairs back, thinking we were just going to catch some puke or something. And uh, <laughs> finally, when he finally said something, he said, "That is terrible." It, he, what did it taste like? Oh my god, it tastes like Nyquil. He said it tasted like fingernail polish remover <laughs> mixed with Nyquil. <laughs> and so, and I, since I never had one, I'm like, well, just let me try. I mean. I haven't, I've never had one either. Y'all, he was not lying. That was so nasty. <laughs> I, I don't like the taste of lime, so that was, I didn't like that. But the alcohol or whatever, I don't know what tasted. Tequila in it. What yeah, it I don't know like. what, I don't know what kind of alcohol goes in it, but whatever it was, that was some nastiness like I have never had in my life before, never will have again. And Dan had been saying, well, y'all, he needs to try a strawberry daiquiri. 
and uh, I've never had one of those either. So I was like, okay, well, I will get one. Well, then we went to like Posadas the other day and we forgot to, I mean, we were going to order one there and I forgot. So when we left there, we went to Walmart and we bought, you know, that little package. It's like a, a drink in a package and you put it in the freezer and freeze it. We did that and we bought one of those and that tastes pretty good. It, I thought those didn't have alcohol in them, but they do. But, uh, yeah, that tasted pretty good. Not that I'm just trying try to be somebody drinking alcohol. Because, I mean, I've never I've never drank in my whole entire life. N have no intentions of starting now. But um, that was not... that. That's something I could drink because it didn't... T I've never tasted anything that had alcohol in it that I wanted to drink. It's all, like, crazy nasty. And everybody always goes, oh, it's an acquired taste. No, I don't want to taste something that I got to make myself like. If I don't like it, I'm not going to do it. Right. So, yeah. We could handle a strawberry daiquiri, huh? Mm, I don't know. You don't know? It was, you didn't like that either? I mean, it was okay. It was okay. It, the alcohol in it didn't taste strong no, to me. But yeah. Man, it didn't taste strong. So. Margarita just, like, hits you. That margarita. Like, that it. What was she saying? No, like it hits you like instantly after you drink it. Oh, like you felt like you had you could tell you drank some. Yeah. Like because you felt like a little bit drunk or something. Well, that and it just like the taste hits yeah. you. Yeah. The taste is like all up in your face. <laughs> it's, it was terrible. I would never. It's like something like just slaps you out of nowhere. Like, that's what it felt like. He said it felt like somebody slapped him. <laughs> that was probably that look on your face. He was like, what the hell are you slapping me for? No. Yeah, we won't ever try that again, will we? Dan ended up drinking. He drank a couple of beers, and then he drank the margarita. Yeah, he was he was liking it. He liked that we didn't like the margarita because he licked that salt all off the outside. No telling who's been licking it. Yeah, I was like, I'm not licking that cup. That's why I drink with a straw because I don't want to put my mouth on a glass. You know, I know they wash them, but I'm just, I don't, I, mean, I don't like the, I don't like the thought of that. And I'm certainly not missing the lick, you know, the side of that cup maybe where they, they, they the, do get one well, of not to put the killer, the killer in it. Yeah, yeah. He says if he gets another one, he will get it without tequila, without any alcohol in it. So, anyway, I just want to tell you all that, that. I wish I had filmed that because it was, I mean, I'm not, we weren't laughing at Clay. It was just funny to see his reaction to that the flavor of that drink so yeah i was sitting in there y'all i have it's been so busy for us um you know we had we you know we flew up to colorado um for five days and i had a cake uh before we left i had a cake we didn't fly back in until like we got home i think it's like two or three o'clock thursday morning i had to jump up thursday morning and uh start another cake that was due that weekend and i have another one now so it's just been crazy busy i've been trying to edit the vlogs and get them up i was sitting in there editing hopefully the last part of our trip i mean i'm just gonna stick it all into one i don't i just i haven't been putting them all in one because i didn't want them to be crazy long and so this one I think is like 41 minutes unedited, but edited it'll probably end up being around 20 something minutes. So I'm just gonna stick it all in one. But as I was sitting there getting that stuff done, I got a text <clears throat> and I, I've never gotten a text like that before. So I was like, well, this must be a, my heated seat is on, hold up, it's warm in here. Let me get this, get some air blowing on me. Uh, I got a text and I was like, oh, this must be, uh, because, you know, I just got the new iPad. Well, I don't know why or how or whatever, but my texts, when they come through on my phone, they come through on the iPad, too. And as a matter of fact, last night I was laying in the bed. Dan was watching the iPad, and I was laying there texting with a friend, and Dan said, Damn, Amanda's wearing your ass out, isn't she? And I said, What? He was seeing Amanda's end of the text. He wasn't seeing that I was answering her. So it looked like she was just texting and texting and texting and texting. Anyway, so, and I told her, I said, girl, these are showing up on the iPad. And Dan's trying to watch some Netflix. And she said, hi, Dan. <laughs> so anyway, um, anyway, I got this text and I thought, this must be like um, a scam or something. So I thought, you know, let me just, because it didn't come up on the iPad. It only came on my phone. It didn't 
pop up on the iPad too. And I thought that's kind of weird because I had them laying up. I had both of them laying up in there because I was charging the iPad. And uh, so I thought, let me just call my bank and make sure. Y y anyway, so I called my bank and I read it off to him. And he said, no, ma'am, we did send that and you need to respond to it. Blah, 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 blah. So somebody's trying to use my damn bank card to, and I looked it up to see what they're trying to buy is some Spanish football something. I don't know. I don't remember because I can't read Spanish, obviously. But anyway, uh, y'all and I will bet you money I know who got my, because, okay, you know, we just flew to Colorado. I'm not trying to brag about it. I'm just, I'm just trying to help you understand my story. So the other night when we were coming back, you know, it was late at night. It was like midnight. When we were coming, we parked in the long-term parking. We gave the guy at the window our ticket. Like, he was the only, like, he was the guy. And then there were the, these others. Like, there was no man, man in those. Anyway, and those people were just flying through. Just zoop, 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 zoop. And I'm like, Why, what's taking us so long? He took 52 forevers. He was a Hispanic man. Now, I'm not accusing him of doing something. But if it happened, I think this is probably where it probably happened. He had our card forever so finally i looked around dan and i said are you gonna give our card back so then he gives us our card back and and we're ready we're free to go he never looked at us he never said thank you i said thanks like that he never turned and looked and said a word either he was in a badass mood or he had just taken our information and he tried to buy some spanish football stuff with it so they've canceled my card i gotta go up here to the bank i need to be working on a cake i don't have time for this I need to be editing and working on a cake. I got so much crap to be doing. Um, so now I'm on my way to the bank to go straighten this mess out and get me a new card or something. Cause now I'm sitting here with no way to go buy no lunch or nothing. Maybe I can just get some cash when I'm at the bank or something. I don't know. But anyway, that's my day.